just think that everything is me being able to be like, if I'm standing here I'm, and the bar's coming at me, I'm literally pushing my chest towards it. Yeah, push that hand out further. Slam your body weight back, man. So everything is, I think everything is you falling away. So I'm falling back as I press and I'm extending my hands to get full extension, right? So I don't end up here. If I just push my arms out, I'm rocking back and driving through. Yeah. So think that when you do that again on air, do what you just did. Yeah, think that this is stiffer. So when it falls into me and I walk forward, I'm gonna rock back with that power out of here. So all the power is here. We're not trying to like motion out through our arm. Just jam that hand. Get this tension on here. So see how I can move your hand? I shouldn't be able to move it. Stuck to there. Shoulder open. Okay. Shoulders open. Good. Big chest up through here. Good. Relax this trap down. Good. Catch this off an inch. Just hold it right there. Rock back. Push out. There you go. Yep. Get more of a squeeze at the top. Extend. Head back hard. Chin down and shove your head back. Look down here. Keep pushing head back. There you go. Yeah, let this relax. Hands. Yeah, fall back hard. Two, slam your head. One, chest up. Better. Good. Spot here. It's almost like being in a most muscular. It's the same angle I'd come around on a most muscular if I'm staying on my body. But I'm just keeping my feet here, so I'm pushing back into this machine. All my weight's back here, so there's in my hands I can do whatever I want. I'm not tense here, right? Because all the weight's in my back pad. So when I go to move through here, my tilt is forward, but my arms just throw. You're driving through the meat of that palm, moving through that handle. So we're not trying to come around, we're just pushing down. Just set this right about there. No, nope, so hold that there. Drive that elbow up a bit. See how that relaxes there? Mm -hmm. Feel the pull here on the outer. Mm -hmm. Just relax down a bit. Just rock up a bit when you throw. Yep, so literally lift up a bit. Yep, slow out of here. Lift up, squeeze, yep. Head up, lift up. Yep. So head head down, head back. There you go, squeeze through. Get above your hands. Hit that elbow low. There you go. Hands slow, lift up, squeeze back. Especially when you're, you're so strong up top to relax in the yeah. negative, because you want to just, it's like, just let it sit where it wants to be, yeah. right? You can hold the weight, it's no problem. So think if I'm here and I'm set, I don't want to be up here, I want to be rolled. So I want to push those shoulders down and lock in and extend that palm to the mirror. Like I don't want to half get it there and let it fall. I'm trying to drive that thing out. Yeah, that grip that you have is fine. Just right there open. Imagine if I opened your hand, it would be like a, you're saying stop. So I'm stacked underneath that feeling. Good, chest up. Really arch up tall right now. Relax here. So start this a little head step on that. Yeah, step on it hard. So start it there and roll this shoulder under here. So this arch is already happening here. So when you take off, let it hold it there as it comes off. Let it drop into you so you drop down a bit and lift up. Scoop that whole pec. Yeah, push that hand out further. Slam your body weight back, man. Yeah, relax here. Up higher, rock. Extend hard. Learn different techniques learn truthfully how to put you how to just get everything into the correct positioning i mean everything feels everything feels different you know so many so many cues how to move here it's different cues are really great definitely feel it in a way you know that i, that I never have that's what's going to help me i'm activating it in a better way i'm activating it a lot better than i have so so we'll the results are gonna the results are gonna happen you're gonna be, you're gonna be blinded by the sun on this, but literally in your eyes. It's all good. When you lay back, it's like you're gonna tuck here. You, I see you incline a lot higher than this, but I want you to think on your, on your incline that this is gonna allow for shoulder retraction. Okay. When you incline, you, your incline is very like here, uh -huh. out of here, whereas now we want you to be more here. Okay pinned and throwing. So I'm catching and I'm throwing. I'm not trying to pull a bar into me and press over top of it. Okay. You immediately want to bring this, this flat that needs projection here, right? Mm -hmm. So I need all this up. 
as high as it'll go, push up against my hand, take the bar off, just unhook it and hold it right there. Yeah, that wrist flat. Tuck into lat now. So keep these shoulders pressed down into the body. Lift this chest up to the bar. Yeah, keep lifting it, keep lifting it, keep lifting it. Fall back and press. Yeah, keep that chest rib cage up high. Fall back and press. Yeah, let it fall quicker. Yeah. So just think this is gonna put you in the right spot when you lay back. Your kickback is good on your incline. It's always just steep as hell. So you're being here and you're kind of just flexing around. So you're getting peck when you do your incline. This is obviously flat. But you're kind of getting this like the good drop and then you're getting this squeeze through my peck. But even still, when you do that, your shoulder is overshadowing your peck because your shoulder's doing more of the press, right? So we want to be here more on this flat, which is going to make it awkward for you. I want to be elbows in to my side and arched as tall as I can. So my wrist is flat, my elbows are tucked in. So when I lay back, I can be here all day in this arch. As soon as I open up those elbows, I tuck in. So my chest went up massively in between my dumbbells. So my chest is higher than my pec, my shoulders lower than my pec right now. This is like a straight barbell across my chest, right? So when I go to move, my head's floating. I'm just rocking in arms, pushing. So I'm catching in here again, pushing. So I'm opening elbow, relax shoulders, drive up through the palm. So all my weight's falling back into the bench. Try like 50s, wait a little bit. So you're like getting up tall, to chest up there. Lock into this arch, elbow in, wrist in. Good, keep that real tight to you, head down. Roll back in that arch, keep those elbows in. As soon as you open them up, just there, head's floating. Feel that shoulder relax there, flat. Lumbo. Both sides, don't angle. Okay. Push that head back, fall away. Yep, don't roll over power. Tuck into here, palm. Yep, keep those shoulders tucked down into that body. Yep, squeeze to the middle like you normally do. Yep. Yep, drive that chest up, relax. Yeah, give me a pause at the bottom, palm. Yeah, pause, palm, head back. Yep. Squeeze into lats, tight, press. But expand, settle, fire. Yeah, bury that chin, don't look up. Mm -hmm. See your chest come together, fall behind it. Mm -hmm. Better, expand, push my finger up. Fall, yeah, two. We actually learn the correct cues, the correct way to actually do it. It's different. See what we're doing now. I mean, I've done, I've done four, I've done four plates on incline. This right here, when I keep my shoulders pinned down, and I'm not using my, I'm not using my shoulders to, I'm not just using brute force to push that weight up. It's a huge difference. Like Michael, Mike has me feeling weak over here, <laughs> but looking pumped though. Feeling weak, but but crazy <laughs> pump. <laughs> so it's a, it's a good trade off. Open up the chest now. Fire. Oh. Pet, you're strong, let's go. Oh. Mm -hmm. Remember, meet that bar, lift that chest, press. Oh. Yeah, fall back hard. Oh. Use that bench, fall back. Oh. One, I got you, fall back. Good, oh. down. Stay there. Good, <laughs> what I want you to do is take a little wider right now, bring it down. When it gets to the bottom, rest it there in that open chest to hold that tension, but rest on your chest. Extend to lock your arm out right now. Feel that shoulder can sink now. Yep. Just hold that tension. Pop to me. Right. Little pops. Drop, keep going. Keep right. popping it. Keep popping it hard. Right. Two more. One more. Good. Lock out. Nope. Hold it there. I got you. Relax. Big chest. Two more. Full runs. Press. One. Good. Good. Use that bench as leverage. Don't think you're just stuck being able to just use your arm. Boom fucking fire like if there's nothing in my hand and I have four plates on the bench my literally the the power with which I'm pushing out would send me fucking that way but I have a bench behind me so it just moves here right and I'm rocking through I would think same thing with the dumbbell when you get tired you're in the right spot just fall just launch that hand out right let that palm hold that Use the back fall back yeah flex into that back extend don't short arm me Extend the dumbbell. 
There you go. Smooth. Yep. Better. Yeah. Feel that stretch. Lost that elbow. Go. Wow. There you go. Squeeze up. Don't try and overpower it. Yep. Palm. There you go, man. Shove the palm to the ceiling. Slam your head back. <laughs> it's like a my. It's like a my fuck right now. But the thing too, like with him. He's had other good people coaching him and he's done a good job of lifting himself. He has it in him to lift these weights and look at the size of them, right? So it's not like, oh, what you're doing before is wrong. There's nothing wrong with it. No one's saying like, oh, however you trained before is garbage. This is the way. It's like, no, this is just another way. And it's like helping you hyper focus on your chest is already good. Now we're just like, let's really see if we can like, we're not shooting shit with a shotgun anymore and just blowing things away. We're trying to like literally sniper your chest. We're not trying to hit everything. Whereas like your style before might have been just like power based and just move that weight. And there's nothing wrong with that. I used to lift like that too. But it's like as you get more, as you get better and better, and you start to understand like, okay, like my arms are good. We can tell, there's no need to worry about his arms. But it's like, now I'm like, you're like, my chest is bad, but your chest is better than 90% of people in the world. But it's like, is it, is it as good as your arms? No. But is it close? Yeah. So now we just have to like fine tune things, right? See? So that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Fine tuning. It's like, uh, like a lot of stuff with Ricky and guys who are like very strong benchers, like I used to be the same way. They get in this habit of like, because they're such strong benchers and they're kind of rolled forward. Like I used to kind of be like him too. I kind of watch the bar come in on an incline. It's like that style of lifting and that really power focused is not about ever getting to here. So it's like, it's about just almost like you can't come out of this rock, this rock lockout where it's like, they think they're locked out, but they're not. Or they think they're, they come to a lockout about here knowing that, cause the weight's heavy. So we're going to pop and we're gonna drop. I used to do that with benching. I'd never come to a lockout between reps. I'd just be rocking in my range, right? So when you tell a guy like that who's strong to like go like this, they're like, what the fuck? Like this last four inches, I don't have that. Yeah. I don't wanna do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. Like I'm thinking about where I place my head. Yeah. I think my issue is when I would go forward and he just like push my head back. I would automatically look up instead of yeah. eyeing the yeah. But I'm glad I'm glad we're gonna have this on video so I can constantly watch it. I feel that pressure on that. You can leave your hand open. I feel it's on the meat of that palm. Yeah. And that elbow is yeah. right there. Push those feet out in front of you. Push yourself back into that thing. See how you're strong there now? Yep. These hands can just move. Mm -hmm. Start it about here, middle forward, rock back, push the head back. Yeah, so we're trying to scoot peck really slow and smooth. Yep, this hand, don't use your shoulder. Yep, you'll naturally rock back if you push his hand. You won't have to think about it. Yep, keep that chest up a bit. Mm -hmm. Yep, slow out of here. We slow push, then grab peck, flex through. Yeah, slow push, peck. Yep. Push into that side. Mm -hmm. Over flex. There you go. Press back. Very good. Use those hands, just come around. Mm -hmm. Better for relax that shoulder. Hands. Two. Yeah, let this drop quick. Fall. Yeah, really extend and fall back. Lift that chest up, rock up. Look at the ceiling, rock back. Yeah, extend your arms. Better. Yeah. Under. Yeah. Yeah. Relax these shoulders down. Drive through lap. There you go. Underneath the bar. No, I was just saying to him, like when he gets this understanding of like pressing underneath the bar all the time, not trying to come over top of the bar. That's what that's what I call that. Who gives a fuck if it's a technical term or not? I don't know. But it's like, so if I'm underneath the bar, right? My shoulder's powerful here when it's locked down into my body and I'm and I'm I'm up in my chest, right? So this is my power position for my shoulder. It's not here. It's not here or here or here, it's here. So the more I can drive out of here, the more stable I am, the more chest I get, right? So if I can lock that down and then I can lock my power into my lat, like he's got good lats, we're just driving out of lat and then we're squeezing into lats again, firing out. But most people don't know where their lats are so they have a hard time. So their press, their press is literally yeah. 
So the more that you tuck into here, yeah, so don't even rock forward, just pull your arms back and just rock out. Yeah. See how your lat opens when you do that? Yep. When you're at the and you're at the end of your press, see how my lats open? I'm not here. I'm tucking in and I'm pushing lats around to squeeze tech. So if my lat opens, my chest is gonna grab, right? And that's the same thing with the with the scoop on yep. here. Drop, throw them. Oh. Yeah, let them drop, throw. Oh. Yeah, drop, throw. Oh. Two. Oh. One. Good. Stay there. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Thanks.